and uh, welcome to another Messy Church to Science at Home experiment with me, uh, Dr. Dave. We've got a really simple experiment for you this morning, which you can do in your own kitchen at home, just using some everyday items that you can find in there. Today, we want to answer a really important question. And the question is, what colour is black? I hope you enjoy this experiment today. For this experiment, you're going to need a few simple items. You're going to need some water, warm water. You're going to need a glass or plastic clear beaker. A blank felt tip pen. It needs to be washable type, so please be careful and try not to get it on your clothes and hands. And then I've got three pieces of paper cut into little strips. I've got a piece of kitchen towel paper. I've got a piece of printer paper that I've got from my office. And I've got a strip of special paper that's used in science labs called chromatography paper. It's quite coarse and rough when you feel it, but you can use ordinary coffee filter paper that you put in some of the older style filter coffee machines. The first thing you need to do is to make a black dot on each of your three pieces of paper, maybe about a centimetre up from the bottom of them. It's harder to write on the paper that is roughest and you need to be very careful on the kitchen towel paper, that you don't tear it. Remember to put the lid back onto your felt tip pen. We don't want it getting over your hands or your clothes. Then take a little bit of water and pour it into the jug. Try not to get any water on the sides of the jug. You need just a little bit in the bottom Next, take your piece of paper and put it in the water, making sure that the water doesn't touch the black dot. And do that for all three pieces. If you watch carefully, you'll notice that the water starts to travel up the piece of paper. It travels fastest up the kitchen towel and slowest up the printer paper. And this is where you need to be patient because in order to see what colour black is, you're going to have to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes to let the water travel up the paper and reach the black dot. Just watch slowly and see what happens. Well, I hope you managed to be patient while the experiment took place. What you should have seen happening is that slowly the water started to travel up each of the pieces of paper. It travelled up faster through the kitchen paper and most slowly through the paper I got out of my office that I use on my printer. The reason the water can travel up the paper is the paper's full of holes. The kitchen uh, paper that I used is, has got some really big holes in it, while the printer paper, but if you can feel it's very smooth, that's because it's got very little holes in it. And the bigger the holes, the easier the, the little molecules, the particles of water, the easier it is for them to flow up the paper. And when they get to the black dot, then they start to take the black ink with them. But black ink isn't just black. It's made up of all different colours of ink, of all different sizes. And as the water starts to travel past the black dot, so does the ink of all its different colours. I'll show you what happened in my experiment. This is the kitchen filter paper 
you see the ink has started to travel up the paper with the water. And you can start to see there are some different colours there, perhaps a hint of orange and red and purple. Maybe black isn't quite as black as we thought it was in the first place. This is the paper I got off the printer. Actually, the water didn't travel up this very fast because it doesn't have many holes in or the holes in aren't very big. So it hardly got to the black ink at all. So the black ink doesn't get to go anywhere. But the best one is my chromatography paper or my coffee filter paper. And this is really exciting. Look at that. See, the water travelled up here and reached the black ink. And when it starts to reach the black ink, it takes all the different colours in the black, all the different colour inks, and starts to pull them up the paper with it. But all those different colours are different sizes and shapes. And some are small and travel fast, like the colour yellow. And some are big molecules and particles of colour. And they travel slowly, like the red at the bottom. You see... Black isn't really black. Black is full of rainbow colours. What colours can you see there? What colours can you see on your piece of paper? I can see red and purple and blue and green and yellow. All colours of the rainbow. Well, I hope your experiment worked as well as my experiment did. I was really excited to see all those colours come out of the black ink. That reminds me of something it says in the Bible at the start of the book that John, one of Jesus' friends, wrote about the life that he shared with Jesus. He said that Jesus is the light that is coming to the world and that the light shines in the blackness, but the blackness has never put it out. Do you remember when we did another experiment some time ago, when we made rainbows out of a CD or out of a beaker of water? We said that the rainbow colours remind us that with God, there's always hope that things will get better. Sometimes in life, things do seem hard. Things do seem dark and black. But with Jesus, his light is always there with us. His rainbow coloured light always brings hope to our lives and he is always with us that's his promise so i'm just going to pray maybe there are times in your life even at this moment when things seem difficult well thank you jesus that you are still light that shines in the darkness that nothing can ever put your light out help us no matter how hard it can seem this day or any time in our lives. Help us to trust you, to trust the hope that you come and bring into our lives. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that experiment today and you saw those rainbow colours coming out of the black ink. Join us again soon for another experiment when we'll be exploring the wonder of creation and the wonder of the creator. God bless and we hope that you join us again soon.